Hi all, in this video we are going to discuss about Carnot vapor power cycle. We already discussed about steam power plants on my previous video. It is good to have a background on that. So I am mentioning the link of steam power plant video in description. Carnot vapor power cycle is a cycle of maximum efficiency. It is a theoretical cycle and is used for comparing other vapor power cycles. This schematic diagram is shown. It is having four components, boiler, turbine, condenser and compressor. Process 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic expansion of steam in turbine. It is shown in PV diagram. Temperature decreases from TH to TL and turbine produces the shaft work WT. Here state 1 is saturated vapor which means 100% vapor and state 2 is wet steam that is mixture of vapor and liquid. The steam then flows through a condenser. Here the steam rejects some heat that is QL to the low temperature reservoir at a temperature TL. So more vapor molecules in the steam condenses to liquid at constant temperature and pressure. It is process 2 to 3. And state 3 is also wet steam but it is near to the saturated liquid line. You can see that in PV diagram. Now steam flows through the compressor where pressure of steam increases. Temperature also increases from TL to TH. It is shown in PV diagram by process 3 to 4. It is reversible adiabatic process. And state 4 is saturated liquid state. Which means all molecules are in liquid state. Now in process 4 to 1, saturated liquid vaporizes to saturated vapor at state 1. By absorbing heat Q in from the high temperature reservoir at temperature TH. The process takes place at a constant temperature and pressure as shown in PV diagram and thus the cycle is completed. The TS and HS diagram is also shown. Here also state 1 is saturated vapor, state 2 and 3 are wet steam and state 4 is saturated liquid. I already said that Carnot cycle is a theoretical cycle and it has some practical difficulties. After expansion from the turbine, that is state 2, is wet steam. It has more moisture content and will lead to erosion and wear of the turbine blades. State 4 is wet steam, that is mixture of liquid and vapor. Since vapor content is there, the compressor size and work input must be large. These practical difficulties limit the use of Carnot cycle for steam power plants. Now we can find an expression for the efficiency of the Carnot cycle. From TS diagram, you can write heat input Q in equals TH into S1 minus S4 and heat rejected Q out equals TL into S2 minus S3. But S2 equals S1 and S3 equals S4. Therefore, Q out equals TL into S1 minus S4. And according to first law of thermodynamics, we can write W net equals Q net. That is W net equals Q in minus Q out. That is TH into S1 minus S4 minus TL into S1 minus S4. That is TH minus TL into S1 minus S4. Now efficiency Carnot equals W net by Q in that is TH minus TL into S1 minus S4 by TH into S1 minus S4. S1 minus S4 we can cancel and therefore efficiency Carnot equals TH minus TL by TH that is 1 minus TL by TH. Now this is the expression for Carnot efficiency or thermal efficiency of a Carnot vapor power cycle. Ok, I hope you understood Carnot vapor power cycle. If you like the video, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also. Thank you.